What is the feedback you've received, Butch, from some of these NFL guys on the players? Very impressed. Uh, first of all, with just the overall character, the way they represent themselves, the way they represent the brand of Tennessee. Uh, again, the respectfulness, and then coming out here and competing the way they competed. And again, you 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 watch our individuals. They went through the workout together with the skilled players led by Josh Dobbs. And it was really remarkable. And, and, and as the coach, it's exciting to see that is the way they interacted with each other, the way they executed, and the way they embraced the moment. Because I tell you what, it can be an intimidating environment when you have over 89 plus representatives from the National Football League here today, but they embraced it. Coach, was there any, um, I don't know, I, I guess bittersweet may be a harsh word, but seeing Josh out here, yeah. kind of his last time in the building, what he's done from where the program was when you recruited him and leading you guys back to the back-to-back -to -back top 25s. Is there a little sadness in seeing Josh in here as a ball for the last time? Well, it's kind of like a parent sending their child away to college for the first time and you know not just Josh but all these players they've meant so much to our football program and a lot of these individuals were part of our first incoming recruiting class and how far they've gone in our football program as people you know as humans but also as football players and you know today is kind of the conclusion for them as Mike Tomlin said is kind of it's kind of the end where you know their teammates for one more time and then they go their separate ways and they're going to be on different teams competing against each other. What's the couple more? We got Bob Weldon coming over. Barnett, I'm sorry. Barnett and Kamara, the two central first round picks. What's the sales pitch you give to these scouts when they're asking you about this? Well, first of all, I don't need a sales pitch. I think their body of work speaks for themselves. Uh, you know, their competitive character, but, you know, just again, I believe in them. I think they're going to play for a very long period of time, and they'll be a great asset to any organization that, you know, decides to pick them. But, again, I'm, in t I'm, I'm just what all these kids have meant, what all these young individuals have meant to our football program, and to see them come here and have all their families here as well, it's a very, very special day for Tennessee football but also in the culture of our football program it's great for all of our younger players to witness this today of how far we've come in our football program and if you work hard days like this can be a reality how many pro teams were here that the first year you took over i mean i know the team had done real well but what that seemed like that first year as well? oh i you know i would say maybe 12 to 14 and on a very short period of time that's not to take away anything from any of those other players I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, I have great gratitude for every player that's played in our football program and everyone has been a brick that's really helped us lay the but, foundation. But to see 32 teams and this many people, I just wonder the perspective that you have reflecting back. It just shows you how far our football program has come and where we're going.